Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we're gonna do a special painting today. I had my patrons pick a technique and some colors. So they picked um, a traveling tree ring with a split cup and the colors they picked were a light purple, a dark green, metallic blue, a deep teal, and a pink. So sometimes they pick pretty wild colors. These are actually a little more subdued. No one picked white or black in that mixture though, because it's five colors, including white or black. So I'm gonna use this light purple basically as my white. I'm gonna put that in both sides. And then um, on one side, I'm gonna just layer the pink and the light purple. And then on the other side, I'm gonna use the other colors. So it'll sort of be a warm versus cold scenario. All right, let's go ahead. The metallic blue is Arteza. Uh, this deep green is, I believe, Blix. And then this dark teal, I mixed two different painting, two different paints, one from Artist Loft and one from Blix. And that's just beautiful, deep teal. This is a 10 by 20 canvas. So I need a little bit more paint than I can fit in this cup, but that's okay. I'll add some around the sides as needed. And if anyone does not know what I mean when I say my patrons, um, those are people that contribute a little bit, a little amount every single month and they get special perks. So there'll be a link in the description if any of you wanna check that out. And one of them will win this painting. Hopefully it comes out pretty darn awesome. So far, so good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and loop back around. Okay, great, that looks awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this. You know what, actually? I'm going to go ahead and do a second cup. I don't need to do a full second cup, but I'm going to use up some of these colors and do probably like a half of a second cup, because why not? All right. I did not use a lot of that dark green on the last one. These colors are somewhat similar on this blue side, so. Okay. That should be plenty. Here we go. Just gonna continue the tree ring. Another fun thing you can do is going right through the middle of that previous ring. But I think this will be cool. Awesome. I'm already loving it. Okay. So let's go ahead and start tilting. And guys, I will put all the materials in the description. So check that out, including the link for my split cup, which I sell these on my Etsy store. And I do have parchment paper underneath here. I really need to clean my silicone mat. So um, that's gonna catch out all these drips and I either give them away, some people ask for them, or I use them in other projects. So don't worry about waste or anything. I use every single little bit. <laughs> oh. I really am liking this. I am so glad I did that second ring. That was a really good idea. Awesome. Okay. And some of these paints I did mix right before the video. So you can see a little bit of that pinhole action. I prefer to mix my paints and let them sit until the next day before painting, especially the white. Uh, but this time I kind of just went ahead, but still looks awesome. So I'm going to let this sit for a little while. We'll see anything that develops and then we'll do our close up. 
Okay, so starting over here on our right hand side, this came out really cool, super bright. I'm glad I went with a darker pink because I wasn't sure if I should use a darker pink or a lighter pink. But I think it's that lavender plus a lighter pink would have been just too much. And that metallic blue, beautiful. You can see the teal in there and a little bit of the green. Kind of wish I'd used a little bit more of that. Came out very pink, but you know what? That's okay because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So there you go. Perfect. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And my patrons, I really hope that you like how this came out. Thank you for your participation, and I will see you all next time.